Shalom Yashra'la, first and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechakurash, the bonds to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth, and salutations to all the Akiyam pushing this word in truth and in sincerity. This is Brother Rapaya from the Great Millstone Camp here in Chicago, and Lord willing, it's edifying lesson. This is Isaiah 58 and 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet. And show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. You know, and who's the Lord's people? They're the Israelites, all right, which are you so called blacks, Hispanics, Native American Indians today, and also the speckled bird, all right? Because uh, the curses written in Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, and written out, you know, written throughout the scriptures, really, hey, they only fit, uh, uh, um, you know, the so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native American Indians, man. You see, Jeremiah 15, 33 says that we would be oppressed together here in Babylon, man, which is America. You know, this place of confusion. You see, so we have to cry aloud, man. We can't spare any of this. All right, we got to give warning from the Most High to our people, man. This is, um, one moment. Ezekiel chapter 3 verse 17 Son of man I, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me alright this is all from the Lord alright this is not of our own these are his words the Lord's words you see and we have to warn his people because he's about to bring great judgment upon the face of the earth man alright and those that turn back to the Lord Hey, he's going to have mercy on you, man. All right, even the sure mercies of David, you see. All right, verse 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hands. So if you have this information, all right, if you know and understand the Lord and you're not blowing the trumpet, all right, you're not edifying the flock, you see, hey, hey, the, the Lord is going to uh, kill that person for being, you know, for being wicked, for going off, and he's going to kill you too. He's going to make you unalive, unalive, all right, because, hey, you didn't take heed to the word, all right, he's telling us to go warn his people, man, so when you, when you know this information, this truth, you have to warn his people. All right, you can't hide. You can't hide this under a stone. All right. This is uh the book of Luke, chapter fourteen, verse twenty-three. And the Lord said unto the servant, "Go out into the highways and hedges, and compel them to come in, that my house may be filled." So that we're compelled. Uh, it goes into uh, um, you know to threaten. All right, we have to scare our people, you know, in the way of uh, uh, show them the fear of the Lord. You know what I'm saying? That uh, uh, hey, if you don't take heed, the Lord's gonna make you alive, man. All right, because guess what? The Lord is the uh, the Creator of heaven and earth, man. The power over all flesh. All right, the Lord's the one you're supposed to fear. All right, he's the king of terrors, not Esau, not anyone else, man. You see, so we have to, uh, you know, persuade them, right? Let's get that real quick. This is 2 Corinthians chapter five. Uh, you know what? We'll start at at ten. For we for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Yahweh Shai. That everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he hath done, whether it be good or bad. Alright, so the Lord's gonna reward you, whether it's good or bad. You know, you're gonna have you're gonna either get salvation and mercy, all right, a hundredfold for following the Lord, or you're gonna be uh, uh you know judged as a heathen, and we'll just see you on the other side when you come back, you know, reincarnated into the kingdom of heaven, you know. Verse 11, all right? So knowing this, knowing that we must all appear before Yahweh Shai, right? Verse 11, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, 
we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto the Most High, and I trust also are ma made manifest in your consciences. So, hey, man, knowing the Lord is an austere man, all right? All right, he's, he's not coming with peace but a sword like Matthew 10, uh, 10 says. Let's get that real quick. All right, th that's what we do. We persuade men by these scriptures, all right? By bringing it out and having them hear it, you know, because faith cometh by hearing. Matthew 10 and 34, Think not that I am come to send peace on earth. I came not to send peace but a sword. All right, he's coming to bring division. You see, because not, not all Israel is Israel today, man. All right, two-thirds of our people here in America are going to be utterly destroyed, man, and like a heathen, all right? The heathens are, are less than nothing, man. The Lord don't care about them, all right? But he's going to come and judge Esau, Edom. He's going to take him out of his rulership, all right? In one hour, America will be destroyed, you know? And the only way out of this place is through Yahweh Bashib Shai, you see? And so that's why, hey... Repent, man, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Let me get that real quick. This is Mark chapter 1, verse 15. In saying, the time is fulfilled, and the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent ye, and believe the gospel. All right? You better repent, man, before it's too late. Um, hey, because hey, the, the Lord's not playing, man. Our Heavenly Father is a consuming fire. And he's coming to judge this place with fire, man. All right? And, and before that, he's going to plague it, man. It's going to be a time like never before here. You see? Famines, pestilence. All right, the sword. All right, the love of many waxing cold. That time is approaching us, man. You know? And the MOTB. All these are happening very quickly, man. You see? So the time is, is nigh, man. Our salvation is near than when we, when we believed. Okay. Hey, but with that, I hope this lesson was edifying and exhorting. Again, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Chakurash, double honors to the apostles and others of Great Millstone who rule well and who taught us this truth and salutations to the Akiyam pushing this word in truth and in sincerity with charity. Shalom, Wa Ababa Ball.